my channel for those of you the guys that don't know me hi my name is ellie and today is vlogmas day 10. today i'm going to be showing you my desk so this is my office for la lavish boutique this is the desk where i work from i have my printer my computer and i'm going to be showing you around i do have this plain spot right here where i'm trying to figure out what to put on it and i was thinking something to do with christmas since it's almost going to be christmas and i was looking around the house and i found all these things that I they're just sitting there and we're not using them and I wanted to do a DIY project to see if I can come up with like something Christmas themed that I can put on my desk like I was thinking like a table centerpiece but we'll see what I come up with and let me show you my desk here I have my printer my bocina my two laptops my calculator and this is the space that I'm talking about like I don't have anything on here and I want to place something on there that has to do with Christmas theme I don't have a lot of items so we're gonna see what we come up with this mirror that I got from my sister's wedding yeah me traje el arreglo de la mesa I know <laughs> anyways that's what I'm gonna be using I also have these three copas I don't know they're probably from a regla de una quinceañera or something because we just have them there sitting in the house, so I'm just gonna use them. I also have these little esferas that I that I found. So hopefully it's enough to fill like the copas or something. Um so I found this little ornament that says Merry Christmas. So a ver para que lo usamos. I also have this like ribbon that's like silver. It's not long, so I don't know if it's gonna be if I'm gonna use it, but I wanna we'll use a little bit. I also have these three candles. It says it was supposed to smell like marshmallows, but they've been here so long that they don't even smell like anything anymore. Um, and I have this that is like Christmas. It's missing some flowers, but I think I'm just gonna get the flowers and like hot glue them. I also found this in the closet. It says it's apple cinnamon. cinnamon. This one kind of does smell since it is close. It, it has a little bit of smell. It's not strong, but whatever. It's just for the creation. So I have found these two. So let's see what we come up with and let's get started. I grabbed the three cups and I started placing the ornaments in a pattern of silver red, silver red, and I had enough to have four red and four silver in each cup but they were just halfway filled up and now i'm getting the green leaves to try to fill up the cup by placing them around the cup with the red little part of the flower out facing the outside so it can give it that christmasy theme i did that for all three cups I grabbed my hot glue gun, waited until the glue was super, super hot, and now I am going to put the hot glue all around the rim of the cup so it can stick to the mirror. I am going to press really hard just to make sure it gets stuck to the mirror and it's not going to fall because I am going to be placing some candles on top of those cups and I am going to repeat the same process.
And now that I have placed them on there, this is what they look like. They are looking so pretty. And now with my hot glue gun, I am going to be placing some glue around the bottom of the cup and placing the silver ribbon that I have all the way around on all three of the cups. I am running out of glue, so hopefully I have enough for the rest of this project. Now I'm going to grab my candles. I'm taking the sticker off from the top. I am going to grab my hot glue gun, put some glue under it, and stick it to each cup. I have these big red flowers. I am going to be pulling them off individually. With my hot glue gun, I am going to be placing a little bit of glue to the glass and pressing down with the flower just to make sure it sticks to it. And with the glass, since the glass is cold, it does dry up the glue pretty fast, so I have to be quick. I am going to be doing three flowers around These little tiny flowers are so shiny and pretty and I decided to do a pattern of a silver, red and silver and I am placing a little bit of glue on one of the petals and pressing onto the glass and I am going to do that in between the two big flowers all the way around.
I am placing another flower in the back because one of the flowers is really big and the other two are kind of small. So I'm placing just a red flower in the back of the one that I already placed. I have a little bit of this ribbon left and I decided to just go for the corners in between the two big flowers and just do a line so it can match the bottom of the candle. And this is what I'm doing all around. Yay, I just had a little bit left. I am grabbing some red little flowers and I am going to be placing glue on the one of the petals and then I am going to be placing it onto the candle. Each candle is going to have one red flower so they can match the flowers at the bottom. I am running out of glue so I am sticking my finger in between the glue gun to try to get the rest or the most that I can get out of it. And as you can see I am pressing and I had a little bit of trouble with this one and it was hard because I couldn't get the, I couldn't get it to stick and I was running out of glue so I was so scared I wasn't going to be able to make it but I did. This was perfect because it had three leaves and it went straight in the middle. I am done you guys. I ran out of hot glue when I was finishing so it was perfect because I got to finish and I didn't end up using these because I think it would be too much. The flowers by themselves were just huge. So let me show you what it looks like. So if you liked today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!